Alright, so continuing with the Southeast Asia Zoo, I'm going to be making a proboscis monkey exhibit here. I'm going to try to be a little creative with this one, instead of just having it as like a forest exhibit, like the sun bear, or like, a, you know, try to mix it up a bit. Um, I've decided, I looked into it, uh, <laughs> Formosian black bears are technically from Southeast Asia, so they will be going into the zoo. I already started planning out where I'm going to put the Indian elephants, and then the peafowl and the black bear will probably be in this area. Yeah, the start of the zoo ended up being like very grid-like, and I didn't like that, so I started, you know, branching out with these. Started kind of, you could tell with the doll, but with these more organic shapes. But yeah, so. Frost's monkey's gonna go here. That's gonna be the mixed species exhibit, and then Indian elephants. More to come, but yeah, for now, for Boss's monkey.
All right, so that's another exhibit down. Uh, I still need to put the rocks along the outside of the exhibit like I have for those other ones. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty interesting. As you saw, I spent probably most of the time on the climbing structure, but I just wanted, you know, for an arboreal species like the proboscis monkey, a lot of arboreal places for them to go, you know, try to make it seem natural, like it fits their natural habitat. Of course had water because uh, proboscis monkeys swim a lot. That's something a lot of people <laughs> learned the hard way when they made their zoos with open moats. Uh, big groups for the animals, I think up to 19 it is, so decided to make a big group. Oh look, they're grooming each other. That's a pretty good, pretty cool animation for them to have extra detail but uh, yeah see lots of them climbing around and that was the whole idea like they live in kind of mangrove forests to my understanding so that's why a lot of the trees I used were the mangrove ones uh, so I forgot to quarantine them too so that, that's been fun uh, <laughs> having to get them off here but oh since they're aquatic, or not aquatic, but since they don't mind water, I gave them a bit of water in the exhibit. Like, yeah, uh, not as much as maybe I should have. Like, I should have made it deeper water, probably. But enough for them to splash around in. Oh, uh, yeah, just so gotta get that fixed. But anyways... Lots of places for them to run. The arboreal food stand really confuses me because it's like zookeepers could never access it, so I decided to make the rampway all the way up. Little, little log hut for them. Tried something new and made a rope ladder on the side seen designs like that before so oh wow that was quick one's already expecting yeah pretty big habitat for them lots of trees and foliage also a lot of climbing area for the structure that kind of goes the pr front perimeter of the exhibit now oh, you can't walk across that Yeah, I think in real life they'd obviously be able to jump across and escape. Uh, but yeah, made use of the rope items for like the first time. For some potentially different uh, climbing. Okay. I tried to put a lot of their enrichment. Look, see, there it goes. Tried to put a lot of their enrichment on the climbing structure too to have them. Another one. <laughs> to have them, uh, you know, encourage them to be on the climbing structure as much as possible. Kind of like what I was doing with the with the eel grass, but I haven't second thoughts. But yeah. Nothing too special with this exhibit, I guess. Well, except the climbing structure, but... And I already kind of did a lot of that for the... Clouded Leopard and the Binturong. Oops. But, yeah. Oh. Ah! I've fallen. They seem to be using the climbing structure a lot.
maybe I should make more going into that area, or even just more coming along the edge more. But I guess when their exhibit's so big, it's like, you yeah, know, you can only have them climb so much. I guess if I wanted to use, make them use it even more, I should have uh, really restricted their exhibit size. But, you know, everywhere, everywhere you look with 19 of them around, some of them are on it. Okay, that's gonna be it. Dragging this one on. Thanks for watching. Alright, the keeper is able to use the arboreal feeding platform and they're all swarming it. You just saw them like all run from one end of the exhibit. Feeding time. I don't know if I don't have the platforms set to the right level because they always jump like that. Like when they go from one edge to the other, they jump. Don't know if there's much I can do about that. Alright. Thanks for watching.